Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode four. <laughs> I'm sorry, episode four of Mina the Starry Brides. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, that's pretty. My lips are still like, oh, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> call her Nina. Oh my god, I can't, 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 Calling a girl by their full name. Weakness. Oh my god. I mean the pet names. The pet names are a weakness too, but like Thing is, will we ever know? Of course, I mean, obviously, she's a bitch.
Uh oh. Is that code for that he died? Yeah, but we obviously know that. We've known that since last week, or really for me, <laughs> yesterday's episode that I watched. But she, and you killed your own son. You killed your son. What that's what's so oh my god, what the fuck is wrong? Is everybody or every adult in this family fucking corrupted as fuck? Oh my god. Girl, I want him to call you Nina for the rest of your days, too, but, like, oh my god.
because she's in love with him. Oh my God. Too much. A camel. Is like right behind her, like all. Oh. Y guys, y you you can't do that. You cannot like get all up in my ear and whisper in my ear. That's a weakness. <laughs> you don't want to know what that does to me. Like Jesus Christ. And share that out loud. <laughs> Do you even remember your own name before you know? See, you can't say girls, women's names like that. Not in a playful tone. Not even in, in any any type of tone. It weakness, weak. I mean, like that's the same thing. Like, okay, so there are pet names that I like to be called and such. Like, okay. I'm not going to say them now. We'll talk about that later. I'm like, oh my god. His eye contact go crazy. Oh my god.
Yeah, and then you know you're not going to be here. You're going to be, like, in a different country, married to someone else. Huh. Oh, she looks so pretty. She looks like a princess, even though she is one. I want to be a fucking princess. I mean, well, no. I'm not a princess. I'm a fucking queen, yes. Queen. <laughs> Because it is something off. You are overlooking something. By the time you'll make it, she's already going to be gone. Gonna try though. He gonna try. <laughs> oh. That's so sad. Like, they're, they're technically falling in love, but she's betrothed to someone else. And they, like, the day that she has to go, he's not there. Oh, my God. Like, this is too much once again. And I... Mm -hmm. Go see her and bring her home. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too much. It is. Like, holy crap. And, and, like, I would love for him to do that. But there's pros and cons with him doing that. And so, if he really, truly loves her, as much as we see the chemistry, obviously, he he's going to do everything in his power. And, once again, a man. Yes. <laughs> I really have nothing else to say about this episode. It was good. Like, really wholesome and sweet and such. The date...
the date was good. Like I said with another show, it, it okay. My one of my dates, like we talked about me at a cafe. We talked about one of my dates going to an aquarium. Specifically, whether it could be an aquarium. Well, here in Jacksonville, we don't really have an aquarium. We have the zoo once again. So, so oh wait. I mean, dang, he just killed a princess. Once again, we're, we're getting the best of both worlds. We're getting someone who is kind and gentle and the one who's very cold and dark and dominating and such. And it's like, yes, mm, apples, oranges, which one do you want to choose? Oh, my God. But, yeah, no, going into, like, the date episode portion, it, it was nice. But, like I said, we don't really have an aquarium here. But, like I said, if I really, if one of my dates, which it is, to go into uh, literally an aquarium, I want to go. I want to walk around, just look at the fish and everything, and just, like, be in the moment. Take really cute pictures and such, just to remember it. I've also talked about, like, okay, there's just one moment in, like, the Monogatari series where um, Agaragi and Central Hara, they go into that uh, Tokyo museum place where it's, like, okay, um, I'm trying to describe this. There's, like, this one area where it's, like, a whole bunch of, like, mirrors at the bottom, and it's dangling lights everywhere, and it's just, like, pretty freaking colors and everything, and people take, like, so many videos of it all every, every single time they go to Japan. That, that date, that is the number one date. Like, number uno, like, freaking number one. You do that for me? That's it. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, to me, that is the perfect fucking date and literally just being with each other and absorbing like each other's energy and thought process and just getting to know each other like on a deeper level besides that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. A girl can dream. Like, seriously. Take me on that date and I will forever be yours. Like, forever, forever. Uh, unless you fuck me over. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode four of Nina, the Starry Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.